Okay, no introduction, no nothing, let's just go straight to the point. Entirely thing. Like here, low setting is a no-brainer to be honest. Like implementation of AI in this game is quite good. And the difference between high and low is so minuscule, like you'll never see the difference. While the performance is around 8% better on low over high. And for some reason, while turning anti-aliasing off, like it lowers performance compared to high setting. So my recommendation, just keep it on low. Next one, environment quality. Like here, you can get quite few frames if you lower the settings enough. Medium gives you around 12% performance boost and very low, around 18. But I wouldn't really go with very low unless you're very limited. Like you absolutely need the frames. Like that 18% is at the cost. As you can see on the picture here, like grass literally does not render. Lowest textures on the ground, which makes the game look kind of like, I don't know, you're playing a game on Xbox 360 back in the day. So to be honest, I would recommend medium setting. Maybe high, but not really. Either medium or stay with very high. There is literally almost no difference between high and medium in visuals, but medium gives you around 12% while high, high only 4. So either go for medium or leave it at very high. And like I said, I wouldn't recommend very low. Shadow quality is kinda disappointing though. There is not a lot to gain here. Low and very low give you basically the same performance boost, which is around 4%. Same with medium and high. Exactly the same performance boost, which is around 2%. So either go with high for the 2% or stay at very high. I wouldn't really go for very low on low. It makes the shadows very mushy. This one, to be honest, I couldn't really spot the difference. At least not when you just play the game. Maybe the difference would be more visible if you paid attention to like the combat. Maybe those effects are affected more, but visuals during just exploring and normal gameplay, you won't really notice a difference in between very high or even in between very high and medium, for example. While it's kind of worth it to go for medium for the 4% boost in performance, wouldn't really go very low or low, even though to be honest, like I said already, I couldn't spot the difference. Texture quality, like always, it's kinda weird, it doesn't really affect your performance. Unless you're limited on the amount of VRAM you have on your GPU, then I would stick to the very high. Unless, like I said, VRAM is an issue, then lower it. But there's something peculiar, like all the settings from very high to low have absolutely the same performance, like literally nothing changes if you have enough VRAM. But when you lower it to very low, you gain around 7% boost, which is kinda odd. And even though very low settings give you 7% performance, the difference isn't huge. Pay attention to those pictures. Like it's quite hard to spot differences only on like very close up objects and not all the objects. Like for example, seeing something on your character, kinda impossible. But some like rocks and environmental objects will make the textures a bit worse. But overall, not really. But still, like I said, if you're not limited on VRAM, just stay at very high. Unless you're hunting for frames, then go very low for the 7%. Now all those screen space reflections, ambient occlusion, motion blur, depth of field, they don't really give you anything. Like you can have around 1% when you turn them off, but I wouldn't really recommend turning off screen space reflections. That's just not worth it. The water is going to look like, I don't know, like paper instead of water. If you turn it off for the 1%, not worth it. Same with ambient occlusion. Stuff will just look flat with it turned off. And for the 1%, not really worth it. And if you are the kind of person that the kind of savage, excuse me, not a person, the kind of savage 
that prefers playing with motion blur, then you'll be happy to hear motion blur hits only around 1%. So yeah, play with your motion blur. Depth of field? Depth of field only applies during cutscenes. So I would say it's personal preference. Don't really count on it. Like if you turn it off, don't really count on increasing frames during uh, gameplay. Like it only applies during cutscenes. So personal preference. Presets. Well, there is nothing really to talk about. Presets are just presets. Like just watch the video, you'll see the differences more or less. But it all got kind of covered in the previous parts. And the last part, the most important part in my opinion, that this table represents like all the settings and the performance you can get. If you're looking for the settings I recommend, they are marked with the wings, the optimal settings. So if you want to improve your frame rate and not sacrifice the visuals, then just look at the table, apply the settings that are marked with the wings, and that's all. Enjoy. <laughs>